good morning. It is, for me, it's Tuesday morning. I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Um, I had a very quiet weekend. So, my daughter was gone, and my puppy went to the groomer, and <laughs> I just had a really, really good weekend. Um, just finished putting on my makeup, getting ready to Uber, um, getting ready to turn it on. But I just had a thought that I thought I would share. Um, I'm 61 years old, and I'm retired. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom for 14 years. Before that, I worked, went to college, was at home with my parents. Um, I, um, I don't know how to look at this so that my eyes don't look weird. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I got married. I was married 30 years. But um, somewhere, and then I started my business, um, the hypnosis business. And somewhere along the way, um, I started loving myself. I don't have the confidence that I probably should. I don't have the, um, um, oh, I'm more introverted. But when I think about me, I think this is very important. When I think about me, I really, I really love me. I, um, you know, I was just thinking a minute ago that um, we forgive other people the way they are. You know, we love them anyway. You know, um, I love my mother even though she's 85 and she drives me crazy sometimes. I love her anyway. Um, whatever it might be with any particular person, we love them anyway. Um, and I think we should do that with ourselves. I think we should learn that we are not perfect, just like everybody else is not perfect. I think we should learn to love the imperfections in ourselves. Absolutely, we're gonna. We need to make them better. We need to improve. We always need to be changing and learning how to do these things. But the one thing that I recommend for everybody is to be patient with yourself. If you make a mistake, forgive yourself. If, if, you, um, if something happens or something didn't turn out like you want, um, just know that you know we're given free will and we can do anything we want to change that. Sometimes we need to reach out. To, to, to be help to help change us sometimes other people need to help us sometimes we need to ask for help but I think one of the main things to do is just to look inside of ourselves and see who the real you is the real me is a very caring very loving very forgiving person um, do I pass judgment on other people? Yes, um, all the time. Do I say it out loud? No, because first of all, everybody would know what a, how horrible that sounds, but I know the intention of myself. Maybe I don't like the way some girls dress that's walking down the street, but what I do know is that I'm 61. You know, I'm not 20. And so, when I was 20, people who were 61 probably didn't like the way that I dressed because it was 1958. No, I'm sorry, that was when I was born. It was 1978, and we dressed a lot different than people who were 61 in 1978. So, I'm patient with myself, and I understand why I, I'm like, why would she wear at. Why, you know, it doesn't even co hardly cover her behind. But that's just my opinion, and I don't need to put that on anybody else but me. Um, and that's just my opinion. And it doesn't need to be published or anything. I mean, it, it's it's it is what it is. But I forgive myself for that because I understand that it's a different generation, and. Um, but I look down inside of me, and I know the true me is a good person. If I could do more, I would. Um, if I lived in another town, 
if I had more money, if I had this or that, I would do more. But I do exactly what I'm able to do with what I'm able to do. Um, I can share my time. I can share um, anything that I own or have um, I, to help people. But, um, you know, I may not be able to do a scholarship or something like that. But you know what? That's okay. There's enough people that do that. People who share their time and their love are people who are needed around the world. So, I just wanted to remind everybody to, for you to reach down deep in your soul and forgive yourself so that you can love yourself. Um, I've done things in my past that I would do completely different if I had it to do over again. But I don't, and I can't, and so I have to accept what I've done and move on. Because um, whoever was on the other end of whatever was happening at the time, they've moved on. And um, there's nothing I can do about that because it's been a long time and everybody moves on with their life. I don't remember things that happened in my life that other people probably remember and feel bad about that happened with me. It, it doesn't bother me. Nobody hurt my feelings so bad that I remember it to this day. So I think we just need to be very gentle with ourselves, being loving, kind to ourselves, doing something good for ourselves, um, making time for you, um, whatever that might be mean for you, whether it's spending time with your children, whether it's spending time alone, um, whatever that might mean for you. For me, it's spending time by myself. That's a very loving, kind thing I do for me. So I just want everybody to to learn to reach down. And the people say it's really easy to, you know, it's, or rather it's, it's hard to love yourself. It's really not because you know your intention. And if you know your intention of who you really are and the way God, in my case, made me, um, I'm, I'm what he made and I'm what my, I'm fulfilling what I'm supposed to be doing in my lifetime and I believe that. It took me a really long time to get there. I think I was probably in my mid-40s before I realized that I'm okay. I'm a good person and um, I'm okay. I'm an okay person to love. I'm a good person and um, if a person doesn't want to get to know me, you know what? That's their loss because I think I'm pretty cool. I think I'm pretty neat and um, and I have a lot to offer and um, and I love myself. I hope you could learn to love yourself. I hope you can learn to accept who you are. And if you can't, see what you can do about maybe changing that so that it, you can fine tune it a little bit. But more than likely, we really like who we are. We just need to learn how to look in there and, and find it. We all have a wonderful day. Y'all have a great week. And I will see you next time. Bye.